friends, Dr. Melissa here, and today we're doing a resistant band booty workout with prolapse safe exercises to build a strong core and pelvic floor. All you'll need for today's class is a resistance band. I'll put a link down below to Vive products. Go ahead and check them out. And if you wanna continue to learn how to build a strong core and pelvic floor, I'll put a link down to that as well. If you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out and I appreciate it. Now, let's go make those booty burn, grab your bands, and let's do this. One more thing you might wanna grab before class, yoga block or a pillow, and no worries if you don't have. All right, let's jump right into this booty blast on your back. Grab that resistance band, and we're gonna put the resistance band around our knees. Okay. So first you're just gonna find that neutral pelvis. So we rock all the way forward, all the way back, halfway in between. Connect with that rib cage breathing, breathing out into the side, exhaling through that straw to feel lower abdominals. And here we go, nice breath in. Exhale, right leg goes to the side, and then slowly bring it back in. Exhale, left leg goes, slowly back in. You're just gonna slowly go from side to side using your breath, making sure you keep that neutral pelvis and connecting with the breath on the exhale. Those are the two big things that are gonna be important throughout our workout today. Feeling that booty burn. Make sure you're feeling that muscle activating. And if you're not, adjust your breath or adjust your posture. Good, keep using that breath. Good, gentle in and out. Starting to feel the outside of those hips kicking on. Great work. We're gonna do five, four, three, two. On the last one, we're gonna be pulsing here, both legs, little teeny pulses going out. Keep exhaling, feeling it into the lower abdominals. Great work for five, four, three, two, last one. Come onto your hands and knees, coming into tabletop. Keep that band right around your knees. <clears throat> Pressing into your palms. We've got that neutral spine, so we're not tucking our hips underneath. Gentle lift of that head coming up. Keep pressing into your palms. Exhale, lower abdominals feeling. That left leg is gonna go straight out to the side and then bring it back in. Left leg goes out to the side and back in. Pressing the top of your right foot into the ground. Connect with your breath. Exhale, lower abdominals. Making sure that lower abdominal area is not pushing out. And if it feels like it's too much with the band, you can always pop that band off and still get a great burn just without the resistance band. Awesome work. Keep pressing into those palms. We have five, four, three, two, last one. Now straighten that same leg out. Toes face the ground. You're gonna tap and lift. Really making sure you're feeling it in that left glute. So imagine that left foot is pressing right up against the wall. Press through the heel, lengthen out, keep pressing into those palms. Awesome work. Keep pressing in, feel the burn, press into that top foot. You can also play with pointing your toes and maybe you feel it there versus the back of the thigh. It's all about that booty. Good for five, four, three, two, last one. Keep that leg lifted straight out to the side and back to center. I know you feel that burn. Use that breath, exhaling, feel the lower abdominals, neutral pelvis. You can always come down to the forearms if it feels like it's too much pressure on those wrists. Good, keep reaching through that heel. Connecting with your breath is the most important piece. And then of course, feeling it in the booty. <laughs> awesome work, keep going here, you got this. Feel that burn. 
for five, four, three, two, last one. Both knees come back down. Just sink those hips back, come into child's pose. Nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. You know what we got the other side left to do. Your inhale, pull yourself, come back up. Press into the palms, lift the head, neutral spine, right knee out to the side and back in, coming into those fire hydrants. Try to keep your pelvis nice and even so you're not rotating to the side. You're just bringing that right knee straight out to the side and back in. Keep pressing into your palms. Use your breath here. Really feeling it lower abdominals. Good. Our hip strength and our hip stability is really connected with our pelvic floor and core muscles because one of your hip rotator muscles attaches in to your pelvic floor muscles. And that's why with that exhale, we're feeling it lower abdominals. The diaphragm lifts up back into that rib cage on your exhale for five, four, little anatomy lesson, three, two, last one. Now you're gonna straighten that leg out, toes face the ground, press through your heel and lift it straight up. You wanna feel it right in that sit bone area, crease and lift it up. Booty burn, it might fatigue a little faster on this side because we already did the other side. Keep pressing into the top of that left foot. Stay connected with your breath and you wanna be careful you're not arching through the back. You just keep reaching through that back heel, lengthen it out, press into those palms, nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. Awesome work. Keep it up, because we've got five, four, three, two, last one. Straight out to the side and back in. As you're bringing that leg out to the side, make sure those hips aren't rotating. Ooh I feel it in my left hip. <laughs> and you may notice there's a big difference from one side to the next. Keep changing the position, changing the posture alignment and your breath to really make sure you're feeling it in those muscles. Awesome work. Five, four, three, two, last one. Whew, both knees come back down. Ooh, shake your booty. <laughs> Sink those hips back, coming into that child's pose. Nice breath in. Exhale, letting it go. Now we're gonna come up. If you have the block or the pillow, we're gonna grab that and you're just gonna put that Actually, first, first we're gonna move our band down around our knees, or our ankles, it was around our knees. Put the block in between your knees. And you're gonna come down to your stomach. Okay. We're gonna work on squeezing the block. The head stays nice and relaxed, so let the forehead rest down. And you're gonna bring one leg and then we're gonna bring both legs. Switch other leg, both legs. Left leg, both legs. And just keep alternating from side to side. Notice how far one side might rotate out compared to the other side. Remember back when I was saying our hip muscles are connected to our pelvic floor? This is one of those exercises that is working that, tapping into that connection. Use the breath, exhaling. Squeeze that block. Good. Three, two, awesome work. Last one. Hands come back down by your side. Keep the block right where it is. We're gonna do the same thing just in that tabletop position. You can keep the band off and you can always um, pop it off. Keep pressing in, neutral spine, squeeze. Exhale, left shin comes out to the side. And then super slowly bring it back in. Left leg goes out again. And then bring it back in slowly. So we go out and then slowly back in. 
exhaling, lower abdominals. Squeeze that block. Keep pressing into your palms. Nice work. Keep it up. Squeeze that block. You can always drop down to those forearms as well. Five, four, three. Squeeze the block. Bring it out. Two. Last one. Whew. Now we're switching. Other side. Press into the palms. Neutral spine. Exhale. Right leg goes out and back in. How far does this side move compared to your other side? What are you noticing? Awesome work. Keep pressing into those palms. Bring that leg right out to the side and back in. Very slowly, working on that control, bringing the leg back in through to center. Good. Three. Two. Last one. Whew. Get rid of that blocker pillow. <laughs> we're gonna keep the band on, come on up to a standing position, and then we're just gonna move the band up to around our knees. Two more exercises to go. You've got this. All right, pressing into those feet. You wanna make sure you're not gripping your toes. We're gonna make sure we're leaning forward, rib cage is dropped, standing leg, spread the toes, squeeze the booty, lift from the hip. So I'm pressing into my left foot. I'm gonna bend that right knee. You can also keep the foot down. So two options here I'm gonna show you. We're gonna rotate that right leg out to the side and then slowly bring it back in. Rotate it out and back in. Other option, this foot is on the ground. Rotate out and back in. Staying connected with the breath. Either option, make sure you're not leaning too far to the side as you're coming out. Trying to stay upright. And we're just rotating the leg out and slowly bringing it back in. Out and back in. We're exhaling, feeling it in those lower abdominals. I feel my left booty. <laughs> I hope you guys do too. Keep up the good work. Keep spreading those toes. We're building this really strong core and pelvic floor foundation here. Keep using that breath. And remember, take breaks whenever you need. If you're not feeling it in that right muscle, stop. Posture, breathing. What muscle am I supposed to be feeling? Awesome work. We've got five more here. Three, two, last one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Shake it out. Ooh, shake your booty out. Here we go, other side. So we're pressing into the right foot, spread the toes, lengthen from the hip, rib cage is dropped, left leg out and bring it back in. Bring it out and back in. Notice how does this side feel compared to the other? How does it feel balancing on this side compared to your other side? Keep pressing into that right foot, lengthening from the hip. Slowly rotate it out and that control back in. All staying with your breath. Keep pressing into that right foot with the toes relaxed. Awesome work. Three, Ooh. two, Awesome job. Here we go, the last one. Oof. Put both feet down, shake it out again. We just kind of dance it out. Okay, we've got one more booty blaster. And this one we're gonna do a combined motion. So let me show you it first. We're gonna take this right hip, standing on the left one first. And you can do this with or without the band. So we're gonna drop our hip, kind of come down into a little squat, drop, tap the knees, and then press, lift up, and rotate to what we were just doing. So slowly drop that hip down, rotate, come down, and then press and lift up. Awesome, use that breath, keep that rib cage down, slow and controlled. 
And if you always, if you need to hold on to something, a chair, a wall, something nearby, good. You are so feeling this burning on that outside back of your left hip. Careful not to rotate the upper body too much, leaning to one side. Great work. We've got five left. Good, four. Woo, three, two, last one. Awesome work. Oh, <laughs> feel it in that left side. We got one more. You got this. Home stretch here. Almost done with our booty burner today. Press into the right foot, spread those toes. All right, here we go. We're dropping that left hip down. Press, lift, and come up. Slowly drop the hip down. Press, lift, come back up. Use the breath. Lift and come back up. Make sure posture, breathing, and what muscles are you feeling it in. And if you're not sure where you're feeling it, you wanna to continue to keep learning more, remember, I'm gonna put the link down below to show you how you can keep building this strong core and pelvic floor and really learn the foundations of tapping into your posture and your breathing. Those two things are key. Good, keep using that breath. Five more, you got this. Home stretch. Four. Three, <laughs> two, <woo. laughs> last one. Oh my goodness. Shake it out, shake it out. You can take that band. Woo. Good, get rid of that band. Shake out your booty. Woo. <sighs> We're just gonna come down. Just kinda wanna stretch out into that child's pose. Oh, and just take a nice breath in. Kind of wiggle your hips back and forth. Use that breath. Feel that booty burn on fire. Oh, and just come all the way back up. We'll take one last cleansing breath in. Bring those hands down towards heart center. Awesome booty burner work today. Whew. I hope your booty is burning as much as mine is right now. Remember, it's all about breathing, posture, and what muscles are activating. If you wanna continue learning more about that process and building a strong core and pelvic floor, I'll put a link to that down below, so go ahead and check that out. And remember, if you're new around here, just hit that subscribe button, it really helps out the channel. And I would love to know in the comments down below which one was your favorite booty blaster today. Until next time, namaste.